Hi everyone, it's Christina. I have finished a few projects here, so I thought I'd do a video because they need to go in the mail in the next couple of days. So this one is a swap that I'm, I'm in from Facebook, and it is a loaded copy sleeve. So I've taken two copy sleeves, put some pattern paper over it, embellished it, and now I can add some goodies inside. So, um... A lot of these elements here I purchased from Nipwit Collections and I bought this set here, all these elements that I can cut out and I'll show you some of those, they're in this envelope. I found this image, I think I did a Google search for vintage, I think I googled co vintage coffee images and found that one. I had this one I purchased years ago, it was a coffee set, so I cut that one out added some flowers and then this was an empty uh, french fry you know when you put french fries in here from a and w so i got an extra one and then covered it with some pattern paper and it's this pattern paper that i purchased a whole collection on etsy coffee pattern paper on etsy so this is the one that i used and then there's another one of those elements, Coffee and Friends. I made a couple of little goodie bags. This is from a die that I have. Um, and this theme here is Coffee and Donuts. So on Etsy, I found a donut, pattern paper donut that you can print up on your printer. And here there's that paper again. And then I added some die cuts in here. I think this is, it says Coffee and Blessed. And in here, I found this on Pinterest. I just Googled, no, I didn't find it on Pinterest. I Googled printable coffee word search, and then I found this image. So I just glued it on this little goodie bag. And then I Googled coffee word search, and I found this one. So that's going to go in this little bag. So that can, that's going to go in there, and I'm going to put that in here. These are some journal cards. I made a couple of tags. I coffee stained them, and then um, from this collection here, I cut out the words, Life Tastes Better with Coffee. Coffee Plan Sleep Repeat. I've got some coffee stickers. Then I made uh, an envelope with my envelope punch board and used some tickets for the from and to, some coffee washi tape, and then I made a 3x3 three three note card. Alright, so then in this glassine bag, I've added three sizes of a, a banner, a banner die that I have, a wooden bike, and then I stamped to and from here. Here are some of those elements from this set from Knitwit Collections. Not those. I don't know where I go. Oh, that's a stamp that I have, a, a little coffee cup stamp. But these are all the little cutouts. I love them. There's a circle. I used my circle punch on that. You can journal on these cards. Coffee lover. See, this is that uh, image here that I found as I did a uh, Google search. And I'm going to add some little, these little tiny envelopes so I can fold them. They're so cute. Vintage envelopes. And a couple images that I purchased. I don't, I think I purchased this on Etsy. Coffee and donuts, and I colored one, and then I just glued it on this paper bag. So I will leave a link to that too, where I found that image. So all of those goodies I'm going to stick in this envelope. And on this clothes peg, I cut out, I stamped and cut out coffee love, coffee break. All right, so now I'm gonna load these coffee sleeves.
All right, so there's one project I did. Now the rest are uh, pocket letters. So this pocket letter is coffee and cat themed. So here I've got a quote. Cute little image there of the girl with her uh, scissors and her glue gun. Coffee friends are the perfect blend. Couple of little, a couple of little coffee cups there. Girl sitting on the books. Mischief maker. Meow. Play with me. And here, perfect. And this little girl, she's on the phone. It says, hello, pocket letter pal. And that's my letter pocket. I love cats. And I also included here little um, one of those little goodie bags, but first coffee word search in the word coffee word search is in there. And then the back of it is just filled with some goodies, some washi tape and cat stickers, a cat stamp, uh, a currently what's going on in Christina's life, some more of these images that I cut out, the vintage images, some cat paws, and a quote. And then this pocket letter, I'm not sure if this one has a theme. It's more of the yellows and golds, and I suppose it's just a friendship pocket letter. I thought I would revisit this paper pad for the background here. It's this one here that came from Michael's. I, I don't even know if it has a name, gold foil. Anyhow, it's, um, yeah, I thought I'd bring this out again. It still, you know, still has quite a lot of papers in it, and it's so pretty. So yellow and gold, love that combo. Uh, so I added some trim up here, trim down here, trim along the side, little um, tiny dress form die and some buttons. There's an umbrella up here. Love this, and a uh, little embellishment up there. Uh, hello, friend. It's going to be my letter pocket. This here, look at this beautiful uh, paper clip. It was made for me by my friend Valentina. Isn't that sweet? I just love how the button or the crochet, the button, no, let's see, the crocheting has been done around the button. It is so pretty. And life is an adventure. That's a tag. And this one here, oh, look at this little, little embellishment. Isn't it adorable? I found that in these um, little packages here. It's called Dress It Up, and it was like, I don't know, hippie, all little hippie stuff in there. So um, I just had to glue her on the front. And that says, add a little confetti to each day. And this is one of the Julie Nutting doll images. Life. No, live a beautiful life and chocolate and coffee. This is good stuff. And this is the back. All kinds of goodies in there. And just this is a, a telephone. A telephone stamp. I'm going to pop that in there and then I have to fill out currently. All right, so that's that one. And then there's one more pocket letter. So this one is, I would say, lots of pinks. Love love the color combo, like of greens and pinks. It's so pretty. This is a Sherry Baldy image. And there's a coffee cup in the background and some uh, flat back pearls. Pretty flower. Hello, friend. I love adding buttons and flowers and butterflies. Today is a perfect day to be happy. And here, I don't know, I hope... The person that gets this understands. Here this embellishment says it's a good day to have a nice day. So I may have to leave a little note for them saying that's like that just looks like all on its own to have a nice day. What the heck does that mean? But um, these two go together. That's why I even put the arrow down here. And here happy the little kitty. Isn't he cute? And bike, I love bikes, bloom, and so cute. And I'm not sure if I've done anything to the back yet. Nope, I haven't. Um, so those are my pocket letters. 
and my loaded coffee sleeves. Oh, and one last thing. I haven't used this stamp set in a while, and it has the matching die, and it is by Lon Fawn. This one is called You've Got Mail, and the die set is called... Well, I don't know. It coordinates with the stamp set that's called You've Got Mail. <laughs> so I just took an envelope, one of these airmail envelopes. But if you don't have an airmail envelope, this stamp set has this stamp right there where you could make your own whatever this stuff is called. So you could do it yourself, but I have these envelopes in my stash. And then I used the postcard, the mailbox, the little envelopes. Let's see, I used airmail and these little stamps there and just decorated the front of the envelope and then when I write my card or tag or whatever, I could stick it in there. So, um, such a cute, cute set. If you don't have something like this and you enjoy doing uh, snail mail or pen paling, this is a really nice set to have. All right, everyone, I think that's it um, for my project share. I appreciate you all watching. Thanks so much, and hello to all my new subscribers. Um, I love you all. Have a great day. Hope you're enjoying spring, and we'll see you all soon. Bye.